Welcome to Weld.com. I had a young lady get a hold of me here recently and she said she was testing on, on some two inch Schedule 80 and was having trouble with the root. And um, I got to communicating with her and, and come to find out, I believe she's running an eighth inch rod, which is, yeah, that's fine. I like to run the 332nd simply because you get, you get a little more control my experience with the 332 6010s on a route, it, it's like they're real active. They blow up. And it depends on the machine and whatnot. I'm running off of Aesop Renegade, and I've actually turned my amperage down to 60. And I, I softened up the, uh, the crisp setting on here. I believe I've turned it down to 40. Okay, so what happens is like you strike an arc and this thing just, it looks like it blows up, relax, and just stay with it because it's not gonna feel that much, okay? You, you gotta realize it's kind of heat sensitive, it's small diameter, you got a real fast transition around from bottom to top. Um, you know, test it out and try it a couple times. Anyway, um, we're gonna mock up this run and, and do this for her so that she can practice this I've used the 332 6010 a lot on a hot pass, again, because it doesn't fill up a whole bunch, okay? So, I, you know, I just like on small bore pipe, especially schedule 42 inch, uh, I like doing that 332 thing. I'm gonna get my hood on, my safety glasses, I'll be right back. a very active keyhole around this rod, but I'm not alarmed with it. I'm gonna run just a little bit more up on top here and get over the top and down through a tack. I'm gonna go off camera, clean this up a little bit. I'll be right back.
Welcome back. I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and cooled this off, buffed it off, and uh, again, uh, 6G schedule. Or I'm sorry, two inch schedule 80 6G. Young lady said she was having trouble blowing it up a little bit on the route. I think she's using eighth inch. Might have been going too slow. I opted to go with the 332 second 6010. I was uh, pretty low in my amperage at 65, 60, 65, and it, it blew a nice keyhole which I was able to control pretty well. And then on the cap, I just went straight to cap. I turned this down to 70 amps. I realize you may think that's a little low, but 70 amps on 7018, 7018. This part is saturating with heat quickly, okay? If I try to run a, a uh, if I was a little bit fuller, I probably could have got away with, with doing a, uh, a single bead however I had a little bit to fill okay so now I'm carrying more metal yet so I, I opted to go 70 amps and do two stringer beads for the cap and I had a little bit of trouble it's so humid that my lenses are fogging up and I don't like it so anyway I was kind of fighting my vision thing anyway you can you practice this uh, you get way good at them you do four, five, six of them, you'll kind of get the feel for it and everything. I hope this helps. If you have uh, comments, questions, uh, anything in settings, uh, amperages, whatnot, let me know and we'll see if we can help you out. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Bob Moffitt with Weld.com. Thank you.